And then, last week, my wife was in a car wreck. And let me tell you something. That was the 2000 Escort I drove for a long time. She drove it because it did better in the snow than the other car did. Someone pulled out in front of her and she got hit. And she could not do a lot of stuff herself. She could not sit up or lay down in bed without me helping her. She couldn't go up and down the stairs in our apartment without me helping her. That's right, our apartment has two floors. Um, and you know, I bottled that up. Why? Because she needed me. My wife needed me. So I was there for her. Helped her up and down the stairs. I made food for her. I, you know, all that kind of stuff. I took care of it for her. She's my wife and I love her. But every time she winced, every time she groaned in pain, every time I saw those bruises, it cut me in here. Okay? Now, I was not actually going to be able to go to Winter Blitz because of it. But her parents, her mom had a doctor's appointment on Friday. And they said, well, listen, we can take her home with us so you can go. So Jamie Jordan and I are texting back all day about, will you be able to go? I don't know yet. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Have you got something yet? Because we've got to know if we got space. Well, I'm going to let you know as soon as I have something. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And finally I said, yes, 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 yes. Because, you know, I don't do this to feel better about myself. I don't come and work with you guys for that reason. None of our youth leaders do that. We come because we want to help you guys out. We don't know everything. Can I get an amen? Um, yeah. We don't know everything. But what we've got, we want to help you with. So, <coughs> there we are. And we go to Winter Blitz. And Mr. Lookadu starts talking. And he talks about, you know, are you moving up the food chain? Are you being a leader again? Are you doing this kind of stuff? And I'm like, I'm good. I was not in this post. Um, but I'm like, I'm pretty good. I believe the youth. I'm the only person under 30 on the administrative council, which is the council that pretty much runs the church. Let me tell you, that's kind of awkward. And three years, when it comes time to recommit or whatever, I'll be 30, so I've got a big gap between me and the next people. But I'm like, I'm doing good. And then I'm sitting there, and he's talking, and I hear, I feel something pat me in the back of the head. Not actually pat me. I And I hear a little voice say, you can do better. Oh! Okay, the line is open. Now look, I'm one of those people who says, if you're upset with God, express that to him. Don't bottle it up and say, okay, God, okay. If you're upset, I say, you've got to say it again. And I uncork, and I said, God, I'm in pain. This hurts. What's going on? I can't find work. I got kicked out of a job I was good at. I was doing good things in. My wife got hit. The car is totaled. She can't do anything by herself. What? And God says, you need more solid food. But you can't do that. Now, through all that pain I was telling you guys about, I have turned around and I have said, okay, God, Okay, this is, this is rough, but thank you. We have a place to live. We're, we're making ends meet. We've got, we've got food. Jamie wasn't permanently hurt in the car wreck. You know, thank you for that. And I did this when both of my grandfathers died, because I never knew either one of my grandfathers. But I ruined two perfectly good songs because they were the crutch I used to get through dealing with that. I cannot listen to Amazing Grace on bagpipes anymore because I will roll around on the floor crying and don't you get any ideas because I won't do it in front of people <clears throat> or I'll just leave. The other thing, um, better is one day. Um, that one will get to me. I'll, I'll have to tighten down because if I don't, 
this lump that gets up here in my throat is going to come out my eyes um, in watery form. So there won't be any like slash movie spray. <laughs> it's a good trick, but you can only do it once. Uh, <laughs> Now, then this happens, and we're sitting there, and <coughs> I hear the line, Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. And I know that line's not right, but that doesn't matter, that's not the point. Now, I know of one person that saw this, if there are more of you, you better confess, okay, because this doesn't happen very often. I am many things. I'm a follower of Christ. I'm a husband. I'm a martial artist for longer than some of you all have been alive. I am a hillbilly. I have a goatee. I am a monument of manly strength. Yeah! <laughs> but! You know what a monument doesn't do? You know the difference between weeping and crying? You'll cry at a sad moment. Okay. Weeping. Why? Because I went to that other holy book, that dictionary. Weeping is to express grief, sorrow, or overpowering emotion through tears. And for five solid minutes, I wept like I hadn't eaten. I would have been face down on the floor if those chairs had been further up. How many of you saw that? Come on. Okay. You guys saw me actually on four. It doesn't happen very much. But in that moment of getting all of that grief out, you can't listen to music on the radio if there's a lot of static. Got all that static out. And God said, okay, now we're getting somewhere. You couldn't hear me very well. Now, I used to be, my faith didn't get really real to me until I was in college down there at the Wesley Foundation. Okay? Man, it became real. I would really help you if that's faith that was real to me before then. And for some of you that were on this trip, I do believe it did. Um, but when I was down there, you know how there used to be all these bars here in Richmond? I was in one of the, I was in the ministry that went out into the night. We talked to people. We gave them peanut butter and jelly and Kool-Aid. We said, look, God still loves you no matter what. I know that you were out drinking all night. God still loves you. He's here for you and we're here to tell you that. We had people in the prayer room down at the Wesley Foundation. God, please keep our people safe. Please work through them. And I thought, you know what? I can't do that. I cannot sit safe in the building and do that. So I came out here. And I always had to have a buddy with me so I'd be safe. <laughs> um, but, no. You don't walk into a place like that without someone to have your back. Physically and spiritually. So I went out with people. And I prayed over those bars. And I prayed over things I saw happening. And I prayed and I walked safely in the arms of the Lord because I had no fear. And nothing, nothing came close to me. And what happened? Well, I didn't really have 